Hello soldiers, it is Castle Perfect here bringing you a very special video. This is going to be my 100th video and uh, I'm going to be showing you how to get the greatest quality hit on YouTube when it comes down to Pokemon Wi-Fi battles. And I'm going to be showing you that in less than 5 minutes and I hope you guys enjoy it. And always make sure to save this video to your favorites every time you have something to ask or you need to rewatch the video in order to get every single thing right. Alright, so we're going to start off by showing you everything that you need in order to get this high quality. So the first thing and most important is going to be a Nintendo DS. In my opinion, I think the Nintendo DS Lite is the better one. On top of that, you will need an R4 flash card because if you don't have this one, you can no longer have the greatest quality available for Pokemon Wi-Fi battles. I've got this one for three years already though. And almost the last thing that you need is going to be an SD card. Without the SD card, you cannot save your games and put them in, inside here and play them on your Nintendo DS. So you're going to need that as well. And the last thing that you're going to need in order to make this happen is going to be the micro SD USB stick. Uh, you can always use this thing to have access from your computer to your SD card and from your SD card to back to your computer. You can always customize everything that is inside your SD card uh, like this. So you plug it in like this and then plug it in your computer and now you're ready to go. Alright, so after you have plugged in your micro SD USB stick into your computer, and now that you have opened up your SD card, you can go ahead and open up the folder that your games are inside. Go ahead and copy the save file in which you have your Pokemon Wi-Fi battle saved in. Now you click away the folder of your SD card and then open up the folder in which uh, your emulator is currently in. Go ahead and paste your save file and yes, I do want to overwrite the save file that I already have in my folder, so you do that. And then you, you're gonna go ahead and uh, open up the emulator that you have. In my case, it is Desmumi. And if you guys are interested in using this emulator as well, I will leave a link in the description so you guys can go ahead and download it from there. So after the emulator is opened up, you can go ahead and click File, Open ROM, and then click again on File and import the save file. So, all right, from this point on, it is all self-explanatory. At this point, I'm gonna show you guys what are the presets that I'm using for this Desmumi emulator. Now you guys can go ahead and take a look at the presets that I have and just simply copy all of them and you will have great results in your recordings. Just copy every single option that you're seeing on this screen, just make yours look the same as mine. After your emulator looks the same as mine, you're ready to record your Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. So you might be wondering which program did I use to record my screen. Well, it is Camtasia Studio 7.0. I will leave a link in the description, you guys can go ahead and download it. I just want to remember you guys that it is not a free program. You can pay for it if you want the professional version, otherwise we'll have to stick around with the trial version. Now that your video is recorded, you can go ahead and edit it in Sony Vegas Pro. On Sony Vegas Pro, you can simply co press the control button on your keyboard and hold it and drag your video to the left in order to speed it up and drag it to the right in order to slow it down. Alright, speed up your video as much as you want to until you're comfortable with it. I guess it's time to go ahead and add some effects to the video. You can go ahead and press border and add some border to the video. This effect will give your video a nice quality touch and make it look more professional with black borders all around the video. Our video needs to be widescreen so we're gonna go ahead and right click the video, click properties and uncheck maintain aspect ratio. Let's go ahead and add some color correction to the video. This will make the video look more vivid than what it already is. Alright, this effect is not really necessary, it's just an extra touch. You can always sharpen out your video and make it look even more sharper than what it already is. 0 0.050 is more than enough to sharpen out your video. I am glad to say that you guys already made it. You now know how to record your videos, how to edit your videos, so now let's go ahead and move on to render your video. Now this is what you have to do whenever you're gonna render this video uh, with the highest quality. Go ahead and pick up MP4 because that is the best file uh, type that you can get whenever you're recording your videos with this kind of quality. 
Now the dimensions that you're seeing right now are for 1080p HD on YouTube, but I don't want the file size to be that big, so I'm gonna change it to 1280 uh, to 720, and that's gonna give me a 720p HD on YouTube. Now the rest is just self-explanatory. Go ahead and copy everything you see on the screen. It is very easy, and now you're pretty much done with everything you needed to know. And uh, I'm glad that you guys made it so far. Now make sure to save you, this video to your favorite if you want to see it again. And always make sure to leave a comment down there if it really helps you out. And I am glad that I made this video for you guys because it means a lot to me. I made it to 100 videos and I hope this um, helped you guys out in the long run. So until the next time guys, peace.